2013 and 14 Mustang GT and V6 owners can completely rid themselves of the factory honeycomb grill by using one of these Roush Performance lower grill delete kits. The addition of one of these grill delete kits improves airflow, which is a major benefit for supercharged cars. Installation is pretty intense, so follow along and we'll show you just how to put one of these Roush grill deletes on your Mustang. Installation begins by opening the hood and removing the eight pin retainers along with the upper radiator cover. Remove the four pin retainers and the four eight millimeter bolts from the top of the front bumper cover. Remove the three seven millimeter outer lower bumper cover bolts on both the right hand and the left hand side. Remove the front six eight millimeter bolts and the rear five seven millimeter bolts from the lower air deflector. Pull down and back to remove the lower air deflector from the car. Disconnect the two side marker light connectors, one on the right, one on the left. Remove the ambient air temperature sensor by prying it out of place. Pull outward to unsnap the right hand and left hand sides of the bumper cover. If equipped, disconnect the fog lamp connectors. Pull the bumper cover away from and off of your Mustang. Release the 12 retaining tabs around the perimeter of the factory lower grill insert and slide it out of the bumper cover. Take this opportunity to clean the opening. Take the supplied template and cut it out following the directions. Using the cut features on the template to assist in locating, position the lower mouth template into the front side of the bumper cover. Center the template into the lower mouth opening and tape it into place. Using a marker, mark the two slots cut out at the ends of the template. Using a center punch, mark the center location of the eight holes on the lower mouth template. Then remove the template. The instructions call for a 90 degree drill, but we didn't have one, so we just used our regular drill and an eighth inch drill bit to pilot drill the eight holes marked from the template, along with the two slot locations marked on the ends of the template. We then enlarged all the pilot holes with a quarter inch drill bit, all eight holes along the bottom mouth opening and the two slot locations. Then, using a combination of a razor knife and a file or body saw, we opened up the two slots. The instructions also call for measuring four millimeters around the surface on the fascia to find your cut point. We did not find this to be necessary and simply laid down some tape to mark a straight line and used a body saw to cut around the grill opening. Once the back side of the grill recess is removed, the cut section should look something like this. Clean up any rough edges on the bumper with a blade or file. Wipe down the bumper with alcohol and do the same for the lower mouth trim. Apply adhesion promoter to that area. Install the tape onto the trim piece, leaving the red edges showing. Install two of the supplied J-clips in the left and right second to outside holes that you drilled earlier. Orient the J-clip so that the threaded portion is pointed upward. Loosely install and support the supplied bracket with two of the supplied screws into the J-clips. Loosely place the lower mouth trim piece into the lower grill opening, lining up the tabs in the left and right corners with the slots in the bumper cover. Be sure that the tape film is still accessible for removal. Turn the bumper cover upside down and align the remaining five tabs with the lower mouth reinforcement bracket slots. Loosely install the six supplied screws in the remaining four holes of the reinforcement bracket and the two outermost holes. Remove the red tape film from the trim and press firmly along the trim surface to stick the tape to the bumper cover. Access the back side of the bumper cover and tighten all the loosely installed screws. Then install the seven supplied retaining clips onto the seven lower mouth trim tabs, centering the tab within the clip and pressing firmly. Apply soapy water to the surface of the front bumper cover just above the lower mouth trim. 
Remove the white backing from the black vinyl decal and apply soapy water to the back side of the decal. Install the decal just above the lower mouth opening. Allow 5 millimeters of the decal to hang just beyond the last body line leading into the lower mouth opening. After the decal is aligned and flat, run a squeegee along the surface of the decal to remove the soapy water and air bubbles. Use a heat gun as necessary to remove any ripples. Using a trim tool, remove the four plastic push pins from the foam bumper isolator to access the four inner bumper reinforcement bolts. Using a 13 millimeter socket, remove the two top inner bumper reinforcement bolts. Install the two included longer bolts in place of the two that you just removed and install the intercooler pump mounting bracket behind the bumper onto the bumper bolts using the supplied 8 millimeter nuts. Reinstall the foam bumper insulator. Loosely mount the front bumper cover onto the car. Using four bolts, install the two pencil braces onto the intercooler pump mounting bracket and use the remaining two bolts to install the pencil bracket to the lower mouth support bracket. Tighten all six bolts. Fully reinstall your front bumper cover. Reinstall the ambient air temp sensor on the metal bumper beam. And reinstalling all the previously removed hardware. Once you get past the nausea of hacking on your car, the Roush instructions really do give you a step-by-step -step overview of the entire lower grill delete install. Be sure and leave yourself plenty of working time, take plenty of breaks, measure twice, and most definitely only cut once. Not only does this lower grill delete give you a much more aggressive appearance and added airflow, it also comes with some extra bracketry to allow for a much more secure attachment for your front bumper cover. You can check out our entire offering of Roush products at LateModelRestoration.com.